Um, yeah, I have no idea what to expect from this game. Because, I mean, whenever we played... What was it? Dogs 2? What's the actual name of it? The Dog Island... A bunch of you want me to finish it for some reason. Oh no, I forgot to free up space on the memory card. My new memory card hasn't come in yet. Oh well, not that big of a deal. I don't think we really need to be saving anyways. Shoot, what's the name of it? Um, Pets, Pets, that's it. Pets, Dogs 2. Whenever we play Pets, Dogs 2, I thought it was going to be like the ones on the DS that I had seen and heard of before, you know, where you're just raising animals and taking care of them petting them, feeding them, boo, hi, Rue, <laughs> stuff like that, you know, that's what I thought that game was going to be like, and then it ended up being a weird, like, adventure game, and this one, just, like, from the, from the box art here, if the glare's not too bad, it looks, like, similar in a lot of ways, you know, Explore an amazing world to save your younger siblings. Discover enchanting environments from the warm desert to frost world. Like, I think it's just Pets Dogs 2 again. <laughs> Which, I don't like... I don't know, man. It's really weird to me. But, I guess it could be worse? Maybe? That's what we're here to find out. They look like the McDonald's toys they had in Happy Meals. Why? Because of, like, their giant heads and tiny bodies? <laughs> I honestly don't remember what they look like the the mcdonald's toys it's been i don't know i don't even remember when they had them as mcdonald's toys i'm sure i saw it i used to eat at mcdonald's too much <laughs> way too much i'm glad to say i've only had mcdonald's like twice in the past couple of years but maybe three times maybe three times but it's pretty rare anymore I've just decided that, like, when I do go for fast food, that I'd much rather go to Wendy's, <laughs> honestly. I don't eat fast food nearly as much in general anymore as I used to, but, uh, when I do go, yeah, Wendy's is my, my new go-to. Better fries, better burgers, just much prefer the food there. Okay, I don't think we need to watch this entire intro. It's, I was waiting for, like, something of note to happen, but it just... Just some kids singing and the dogs running around. I mean, it's very cute. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's something we really need to... <laughs> it's not going to give us any lore, you know? <laughs> God. Look at the dudes. Look at them. But puppies? Look out. Look at the puppies. <laughs> They're so weird looking with their giant heads. And little bodies. So small. <laughs> No options or anything. You're straight into the game. Okay. Okay. They're adorable and you will treat them with respect, sir. <laughs> oh my god. El Dorado. Hoy there. So you're the new mailman, are you? Why does this text box look familiar? Bro, is this straight up just Pets Dogs too? Like a spin-off of it or something? Hold on. Hold on. Who made pets? Pets, dogs, and cats too. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I just wanna know who made it. Uh ba -ba -ba Ubisoft. Bruh, this is 100 percent I'm pretty sure they use the same text box. In Pets Dogs 2. They definitely just, like, either ripped it off or something. I don't know which game came first, I guess, technically. It was made with Cryware. So you're the new mailman, are you? One of the new recruits put this letter in the wrong place, and it got soaked. So now the address is all smudged. Can you still deliver it? We got you, bud. Don't worry. Mm, it's barely legible, but I'll give it a shot. Doesn't even try to read it. Just runs to a random house and throws it at someone. We got you, boy. so wrinkly. The mailman dog. Look at all the wrinkles on his face. Hey, Mr. Donatello, could I ask you a favor? Take a look at this address. Any idea whose it is? Yeah, ask the dude with glasses, because <laughs> that makes sense. As a dude with glasses, man, you know what I mean? Like, well, now let's see. It's hard to make out, but ah, it's that kid's house. 
bro. Can we just be a human? No. <laughs> I just imagine if we were the only human in all of the dog world. That would have been hilarious. You were across the kitchen and your phone was on the counter and it kind of sounded like an Animal Crossing villager singing. I can see where you're coming from. Does anybody have a, a preference on dog type? I'm personally a fan of Shibas. Can I like spin it around to see it? No, okay. Pitbull? Are Pitbulls an option? If it is, I'm down. I don't really have like that much preference. Akita's cute too. Bernese Mountain Dog? Newfoundland. Terrier, Scottish Terrier, French Bulldog. That's gonna be like a, yeah, wrinkly boy. He's not as wrinkly as I thought though. Bernard, Kali, Papillon, so many. I wish it loaded a little bit quicker. I have no pit bulls in Boston Terrier. You got it, man. English Springer Spaniel, Besset Hound. Look at his big floppy ears, dude. Look at him. He's so floppy. He just <laughs> ears longer than his legs. <laughs> My lord. Huskies, I've always been a big fan of Huskies, too. I'm not like, I like dogs, but I've always been more of a cat person, to be honest. But Huskies and Shibas have always been the two that have stood out to me as like super cute dogs. Awesome terrier. And as far as cats go, I, I don't really have a preference other than I want them to have fur. <laughs> like, my favorite kind of cat is just whatever random mixed breed you would see like running around on the streets you know <laughs> like, that's that's my favorite kind of cat I, I don't know so there's a bulldog we got pugs we had pugs growing up and I never cared for ugh. Ugh. wait Boston oh the terrier yeah well we haven't made it through the whole list yet that's why I passed it I mean I didn't mean to like not even let it show up if I did that. If I did that, I apologize, but I was just still looking to see if there was any, uh, whatchamacallit. So short hairs? I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a short hair, but generally, yeah. Short to medium hair for would be the, the cats that, uh, you know, you would just see running around on the streets randomly or whatever. We had beagles growing up, too, and then they bred and had puggles. <laughs> I, I hated the pug though. The, I just, I've never been a small dog person. I find them annoying for some, whatever reason. Sorry to people that have and love small dogs, but um, <laughs> just like, I'm not hating. I just, just not for me. Just not for me. I do not hate Charlotte. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the kitty. I'm just saying like, that's my preference for, for dogs. Bro, I'm so... There it is, Boston Terrier. I couldn't read for a second. I went stupid temporarily. Temporarily? Mm, maybe a little more permanently, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, Boston Terrier it is. What about uh, names, if it lets us pick a name? Anybody have some name preferences? I think you, you had a Terrier, didn't you, Rue? Would you want it to be the same name as, like, your one growing up or whatever? But it's up to you, dude. You've been through the whole list? Oh. Oh, no. Like, yeah, there's a little counter down in the, the bottom there. Uh, I was just looping around. Terry. Do a girl named Midget. Okay. I'm giving it to Rue this time. Although, if I were to personally get a Boston Terrier, I'd probably do Terry. Just because, like, I like alliteration. And Terry the Terrier is just... <laughs> is perfect. <laughs> We'll do a girl named Midget. M I G. Oop, not capital. Uh, e -T. For the love of God, anybody who makes games out there, just use a QWERTY keyboard <laughs> for for North American releases, of course. Obviously, different for other countries, and that's probably why they don't, is they don't want to have to, you know redo the keyboard. Although, like, I guess they'd have to depending on the region anyways, because of different languages and alphabets and things. But anyways, you know, Midget. I believe there was either a brother or a sister. Now, which was it? Wait, are there two dogs? Uh, Midget gets a brother. 
I don't know if Midget had a brother or sister in real life. My apologies, but... Ah, oh, yeah, I remember now. They're both good kids. It's a shame about their father, though. It was a warm day. Or was it cold? Maybe it was cold. Either way, I'm pretty sure it was when the leaves were just turning color. This is going to be a long story, so if you'll just have a seat, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, sorry, I've got to go. <laughs> Ain't nobody want to listen to your story, old man. <laughs> Don't need all that depression in the beginning of my cute puppy simulator. Come on, what are you doing? I am very curious, though. What happened to our dad? Did he, like, you know, did he not with us anymore? Did he go to the farm? Is he taking the long nap? I'm very, very concerned for our father. I'm sure he's fine. He's probably just, I don't know. <laughs> doing something <laughs> he's he's on vacation that's all it's a shame because everybody missed him so much that's all no oh, i'm sorry rue maybe it wasn't a great idea to do <laughs> a boss interior named after your puppy then uh i didn't think of it that way but like mm, excuse me good morning midget oh bro we even got hearts and everything too this has to be inspired by or just like capitalizing off of the pet series or the other way around. It just makes it weird to me that like they called it something so different and didn't call it like Pets Dogs 3 or whatever. But morning, Midget. Morning, sister. Sister doesn't have a name. Little brother looks like he's getting better this morning. Let's have breakfast. Oh, oh wait, we're sister. Okay. The milk isn't here yet. I'm sorry, Midget. But could you go to the milk store and get some? The milk store is in the square just outside the house. They have a milk bottle by their door. It's hard to miss. Off you go. I miss when the milk store was somewhere I could just walk to, you know? We actually did have a dairy that we used to go to when I was younger. And uh, we didn't go, like, often. But we would go and get, like, bottles of milk in, in the glass bottles. Um, chocolate milk. They had really good chocolate milk. Like, uh, I mean, I'm 31 years old. And so it's been like 20 plus years, probably 20-ish years since I've had it. So just going off memory here, but it was the best chocolate milk I've ever had in my life. <laughs> like, it was really good. And uh, they also sold ice cream and stuff, but I don't remember if we ever got ice cream from them. Go to the milk store, get us milk. Please hurry. Gotta have our milk, please. So wait, what kind of milk are they drinking? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm curious, what is the lore of this world? Is it like dog milk? Since, you know, they're dogs? But wait, who's... Oh, okay. We could just talk to you from like a weird angle. If you lose those hearts, you'll lose my... I'll try not to. I don't... It's a game though. I don't know. What if I get murdered in real life? <laughs> then what? I can't protect the puppy. <sighs> Very tired. Don't mind the things that come out of my mouth. Get <laughs> IRL morning. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's the no for? For the dog milk? So what? They're still drinking cow milk? Who's milking the cows? In this world full of dogs. They don't have opposable thumbs. How are they... How are they work in the, the udders? This makes no sense to me, man. I don't, I don't get it. Of course, I guess like, how are they working them? Either way, no matter if it's dog or whatever. I don't know. Ah, oh, the letters from my little nephew. How sweet! Just learned how to write, but he's ri already written me a letter. Wait, so the letter was just completely inconsequential? <laughs> I guess it was just a way to get us in the house, or get us to the house. Cause God forbid we just like show up in the house or whatever. I mean, I guess it gave them, like, the opportunity to show us the town a little bit and introduce some of the town's people. So, honestly, not bad. I'm being I'm being a little too pessimistic about it. It's not a bad thing. And it was a short intro. It didn't make us listen to, like, the story of our dad and all that. So they at least, like, had some consideration for, for us. 
I never really understand why some games have vibration turned off by default. Um, okay, down is up, up is down, left is right, right is left. I want to change that. Everything else is good though. Horizontal, invert. Oh, oh, we can dig. That's cool. I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. So you have a question mark. Does that mean you have like a quest for me? Can I bark? I can sniff and dig. Ah, there we go. Fork. <laughs> I could just do this all night, man. Just, just scare the crap out of these little chicks. <laughs> oh, how'd we do it twice? We did like two barks. Can we bark, bark? Ah. I don't think we can control it. I think it's just rent. Oh. Is it like the longer we hold it, it does different things? Okay, if we hold it really long, he does like the moan. Oh, we can control our mini map a little bit. Okay, you have a question mark. What's up, Enzo? Hey, aren't you Mars, girl? As me. The milk delivery hasn't reached you yet. That kid. I mean my son, that good for nothing. He sometimes helps out around here, but look what happens when I trust him. You want milk, right? I'll bring it right over to your house, okay? And uh, hold on. The basket, I need to believe the deliveries is gone. Words didn't work for a second, sorry. Had a stroke. This is a real problem. Without that, how can all the deliveries tomorrow? How can I, how can the deliveries tomorrow? Bruh. What, you'll search for it? I got you, dude. No problem, I'll get your basket. Maybe I'll find your good for nothing son. Real piece of crap he is. <laughs> so rude, dude. What'd your son do? I mean, I guess I don't know. He could be a real piece of crap for all I know. Uh, select memo from the menu and press X. Select diary uh, to see your quests. Okay, we can handle that. Okay, so we have two cents this way. What's the question mark one? Is the question mark one like somewhere we should dig? Aha, yeah. Got a beautiful stone, okay. Hello, Sergio. Oh God, might not have wanted to talk to him. Uh, tonight is the night of the yearly festival. It's the festival where we express our gratitude toward the blessings of nature. I think that just means we get to eat a big feast. What do you think? Oh, okay, he's not. That wasn't all that bad. Can we, like, jump? I don't think so. This is going on the list, right? Why? <laughs> Why does it need to go on the list? We already have this game on the list. Honestly, though, like, so far, it does legit seem better than the other one. Than pets dogs too like the world just seems more interesting the storytelling isn't as like drawn out and overplayed um but we haven't gotten to like the actual game bits yet though so who knows amadeo tonight's the festival let's go together viviana said she wanted to come too can't wait for it to start getting dark oh hi viviana you know what they say about the night of the festival, don't you? If a couple shares vows of love on this special night, they shall be together forever. Bro, I'm gonna tear up. And it's Valentine's Day. Holy crap, I forgot. Happy Valentine's Day, friends, for people that it's after midnight for. Everybody else, happy Valentine's Day Eve. Knuckle's sister got married last year. Remember, it turns out she and her husband exchanged vows on festival night too. How romantic. I love a little romance right now. In fact, I'd love it a lot. Somebody's like thirsting, dude. Jesus. Sorry, I'm a child, so <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Goodbye, Viviana. Oh, oh, I smell something. Where's the goodies at? Is it the old dude? Do we need, do we need to sniff his butt? I'm not above sniffing an old dude's butt if it means I get stuff. Colored glass, isn't that just a marble? All right, old dude. My old bones have been aching for a few days now. That means there's a storm brewing. You mark my words, young pup. Tonight's the festival night now, isn't it? I'm just hoping that the weather stays clear. How much you want to bet the weather does not stay clear tonight for festival night? It's gotta be this way, right? No? 
son of a... Wait, where else can we go? Oh, I didn't see you. Hello. Oh, it's Knuckles. Oh, we got some fresh Marlin today. Cool, I guess. But where's this stupid basket at? It seems like it's... Behind these houses, but... You can't go over there, right? Yeah, because like, it's lighting up real big whenever I go this way. Wait, was it like right here the whole time? Did we just go all the way over there for absolutely nothing? Bro, we did. <laughs> My bad. You got basket. Take it to Enzo. Okay. Sure. Hold on. I have to bark at some chicks again. Wink. Get wrecked. Stupid chicks. This is a doggy dog world. There ain't no place for chicks here. Thanks. That's a real big help. Here, take a bone. <laughs> I don't want to know where you got that bone from, Enzo. Why you got just a sack of bones chilling over here, bro? When I said it's a doggy dog world, I didn't mean it literally, Enzo. Chill, bro. Just give you a wolf if you help a dog out. I'm sure they'll give you more of them. It's a sign of thanks. If you gather a lot of wolves, <laughs> you can trade them for accessories or healing medical or medicine, herbs, whatever. I'll make the deliveries then, so say hello to your mother for me. A uh, light bulb? You'll carry it back yourself? Yeah. Why can we not talk? Everybody else can talk. But like, we just get light bulbs and exclamation marks. Probably a confused, confused spiral at some point. Yeah, so bones are like our currency then? I mean, it makes sense, I guess, in a dog world. Just... Imagine if you could literally eat your money in real life. I mean, I guess you can. <laughs> like, imagine if you could eat your money and it was good. I'd be broke. <laughs> it would make getting snacks super convenient, though, you know? Because, like, whenever you're hungry, you don't gotta go to the store, man. You just pull out a dollar bill and start munching. I went to your house to deliver a letter. Who, me? I'm Mr. Postman. I just started working in this town recently. So you've noticed this red box here. This wonderful box allows you to send letters to dog, do, dogs far, far away. By writing your memories in a letter, you can record them. Among us postmen, this is called saving. Here's an idea. Why not give it a try? I mean, I would. But yeah, my memory card's full. So it's fine. Come back anytime if you want to save. They'd have to make money bigger. No, nah, man, you just got to like cheese it, you know? You don't eat dollar bills, you eat pennies. <laughs> Just crap tons of whatever the penny equivalent is. Right? Assuming, like, everything's relative size, 100 pennies in terms of mass and just, like, space, you know? It's a lot more than a dollar bill. So 500 pennies? You know? I think you could probably make a meal out of that. And that seems like... If I was just sitting there snacking on something, I'm thinking like chips. A bag of chips has what, like 120 in it or something? I'm thinking like 10 chips is a serving. There's like 12 servings in a bag. That sounds about reasonable, right? So like 100 pennies, that's a full bag of chips almost, small chips. So we'll say like quadruple that. So like 400 pennies would be a full bag of chips. Four bucks for... Bro, this is making too much sense. That's about how much a bag of chips cost. <laughs> Anyways, um, and before we've just been eating pennies all along. Did you bring us the milk? Your brother is he's hungry. Give me milk. The dog milk, or not dog milk, sorry. Mom, can I go to the festival tonight? Hmm, sure, as long as you drink your milk, your condition doesn't get any worse in the evening. Wait, what? My condition? Is our brother sick? Huh. They may have been onto something. Oh no. Oh no. This is when the men in black show up and I just disappear. Never to be seen again. I wonder what's wrong with our brother. It's gonna like storm real bad tonight, ain't it? This makes me think of Harvest Moon. 
that owl specifically i'm pretty sure it's a harvest moon game where it makes like the same exact sound no 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 i want to go to the festival your condition has gotten worse since this morning you can't go out like this i'm fine fine i tell you i drank the milk i should be fine no <laughs> screw you son you're not going anywhere now watch your sister go have fun while you sit here and suffer poor dude i do actually like feel a little bad for him hope he's okay Come on, I'm fine, please. I don't have any say in it, dude. You gotta convince Ma. You can take care of your little brother. Go and enjoy the festival. Just don't stay out too late. Whew. And before, like, this is where our journey starts. It's gonna big storm. We're gonna be on the boat for some reason or something, and we're gonna be whisked away to the end of the world. Or, I don't know, something. Can we sneak him out? I mean, I'm down. Although if we do, I feel like something terrible is going to happen to him. <laughs> yes, whisked away to Traverse Town. Joke's on you guys. You thought you were voting on Dog Island. We're playing Kingdom Hearts again. <laughs> hey, Midget, you don't look so good. What's up? Ah, uh, my brother's a little dick. He's dying or something. I feel bad. Yeah. Bro ain't doing so hot. I have so many questions, though. What's wrong with Dad? Or what happened to Dad? What happened to, to Lil Bro? Why, why can Lil Bro not do things? Falling stars are a sign of troubled times. At what? Why are falling stars a sign of trouble? Oh, my God. The stars, though, man. It really is Kingdom Hearts. They're going to start blinking out. Anyways, what was I saying? Stars, stars, falling stars, shooting stars. Always been a sign of good, yeah. That's what I feel like, at least, you know? I loved watching. I remember one year at my aunt's house when I was younger. We were all, like, chilling around the campfire, and we looked up, and there was just, like, dozens of shooting stars. It ended up being, like, one of those events that happens every couple of years. I don't think we knew it. I think it was just a happy coincidence, although I could be wrong. It was like 16 years ago or something so <laughs> memory's not good enough <gasps> chicks bork 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 gotcha look at him dude they didn't know what hit him helpless little chicks hello gustavo come on come on gather around gather around you there you look skilled and how about joining the treasure hunt contest does it cost money? I don't usually trust your kind. Carnies, I mean. <laughs> the rules are simple. There are three spiral shells hidden in the town. You need to find them by sniffing and bringing them back here. The winner is the dog who finds the shells and make it back here first. If you have a prize, so every dog do your best. This is what a spiral shell s Excuse me, smells like. Hey, isn't that your brother? Go home before you die and the mom will be mad at me. Just no. Go home. Yeah, it's fine. Come hang out with us, bro. Oh, never mind. We are angry. I take it back. It's not okay. I want to come to the festival with you, Midget. Look, I'm fine. I drank the milk, didn't I? <laughs> You're entering the treasure hunting contest, right, Midget? I'll just watch that, and then I'll go home, okay? Please, Midget! All right. I guess it's fine. Just the treasure hunting contest, though, and then you're going home. Y'all ready now? Go okay then. Go! <laughs> Sniff. Are we actually like racing other people or I feel like we just always win? Oh. I had a I had a bork. Make sure everybody knew that I found it. Is there one like over here somewhere? Okay, so it's probably like down here then. Poosh, I really like fireworks, actually. Man, if I ever, like, hit the lottery, I'm just gonna blow my entire winnings on f f permits to, to blow up fireworks and on, like, the world's biggest fireworks. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, ship, maybe? Wait, is this what causes us to get whisked away? Oh, nope, okay, other side. Move, Raymond. I'm trying to get shells. Alright, now give me my prize. 
I wonder what happens if you bark at, like, the dogs. They probably don't really react, huh? It'd be cool if you could get into, like, a barking match. A shouting contest with other dogs. Oh. Duh. If you get too close to him and hit X, then, like, yeah. Whatever. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. I don't know what's going on here. We give flowers! And they're pretty flowers. That pup, ain't she Dolik's daughter? She takes after her father. Who's Dolik? I'm guessing that was our dad. So, Midget, what are you gonna do with those flowers? Silly, she's obviously gonna give them to her sick little brother. <gasps> really? Flowers, yippee! Wait, is nobody gonna, like, let me answer first? Oh. Little bro's dead. Told you this would happen, dude. This is why you always listen to your mother's children. Because if you don't, you die. This is not for children. Why are you watching this, children? Go somewhere else. God. I sincerely hope not. My bro, bro! Don't get emotionally attached, because then you guys are going to make me play this game sooner or later. <laughs> How's it look, dog? He's been sick like this for so long. How much longer until he gets better? Mm, I hate to tell you this, Ma, but uh, he's never going to get any better. <laughs> he's done screwed. So wait, is that what our adventure's actually about? Are we finding like some mystery cure? <gasps> is that what happened to our dad? Was he out looking for, for a cure and then like disappeared or something? I bet you it was something along those lines, yeah. That's probably what our journey is too, finding a cure. Maybe we find our dad too. We can make this family whole again because that's totally the responsibility of children. Dr. Poten, he lives on the dog island. He may know of a way to cure this. Wait, this isn't the dog island? Bro, there's literally nothing but dogs and two chicks here. How is this not the dog island? The boy can't make a trip in such a condition. Yeah, he's in no shape to be traveling, all right, Mar. Your only chance, I guess, is to go and ask Dr. Potan to come visit your house. I can't just leave my son here, are you crazy? I understand, but if you don't, he's as good as dead. So, <laughs> oh, and, Every ship that goes to Dog Island sinks. All of them. Dead. So, like, <laughs> have fun with that, Mar. <laughs> Please just stay at your butt, pup side. Uh, call me if it gets worse. <laughs> My god, dude. We're gonna do it anyways. That's 100% what happens. Sorry, I need to move my drink. I'm trying to, like, stretch out and get comfy and my drink's in the way. And that's not... Ugh, there we go. Oh, by the way, tomorrow we're going to start playing Dark Cloud 2. Uh, it is Valentine's Day. I'm going to try to be home on time, but Noodle and I, of course, are going out for Valentine's Day. So, yeah, but still excited to be starting Dark Cloud and seeing what that's all about. I mean, we played a little bit of it before, but, like, to get deeper into it. Oh, I can't allow you to do that, daughter. Sodder? <laughs> you heard what the doctor said. There are terrible storms around the dog island. Some ships have sunk just trying to get there. Your father already went to search for a remedy for your little brother. Fucking called it, bro. I knew it. What would I do if anything happened to you two? I just couldn't take it. I'd be like your brother over here. Dead as a doorknob. We still have bro, 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 bro. Bro. You are way too invested, bro. It's okay. They're virtual. They're not real, I promise. There you are, midget. Are you absolutely sure about going to the Dog Island? Dark Chronicles or Dark Cloud 2? Uh, the first one. Dark Chronicles. Well, yeah, yeah. English, it's or in America at least. North America, it's called Dark Cloud, right? Dark Chronicles was like it's translated Japanese name or something along those lines. I remember Nate talked about it a little bit once upon a time, but... You willing to die for this? Uh, I mean, I don't know, son? I don't know, do, do people call girls sons? What do they do? Like, people that call people sons, do they call girls anything different? I don't know how that works. Me girl? <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> Are you willing to die, me girl? <laughs> God. Why did I just get a vision of uh, the crab? 
Crab, crab, crabby patty, crusty crab. What's his name? <laughs> From SpongeBob. Why am I blanking so hard right now? Crabs. Oh yeah, it's just fucking Mr. Krabs. That's why. This won't be no luxury crew. You'll have to work for me while you're on board. You got it? Why do I seem excited about that? Bruh, just wait till you're a few years older. You won't be excited about work anymore. Unless you, like, really like your job, I guess, you know? I wish I was that excited about going to work every day. <laughs> I like doing this. This is pretty fun. But, like, actual paying the bills job? Oof. Not a great time. That reminds me. Guess what? It could be literally anything. Um, you got promoted? Question mark? I mean, I'm assuming it's job related, so maybe you wish. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what happened though? It seems like good news, right? Right? I'm hoping it is. You made your decision. I won't argue, but please be careful. Wait, how old are we? Um. Well, if you didn't get promoted, <laughs> and it's about your job. Well, oh, a car? Did you did you find like a decent car for a decent price? Yes! Got it. <laughs> I'm the best guesser ever. I knew it. That was totally my first guess. Don't remember the other one. <laughs> the other one didn't happen. No, that is super exciting though, man. Good for you. Good for you. 2012 Ford Focus. Nice. Yeah, Ford Focuses seem like super common first cars for people. Um, I don't remember what year it was my sister had. My sister had a Ford Focus as like one of her first cars. And that thing sucked. <laughs> Not saying yours will. The problem with hers is that there was something with the engine that wasn't great. So like it just had no power at all. Kind of pretty much in general, but especially going uphill. As soon as you would hit a hill, like, you would legitimately have to turn the AC off to get that thing to go up a hill. Otherwise, you were going, like, 15 tops <laughs> up a up a small hill. I don't know my gradings for hills, but, yeah. <laughs> Was a vacuum line? Possibly. I honestly, I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was garbage. And then it started having, um problems idling and her dad who's a mechanic was able to like increase the the idling rpm or whatever on it so like it would it wouldn't shut down anymore when it was idling you know when just turn off but it would idle at like a super high rpm so like it just it was garbage man <laughs> anyways say falling stars are a sign that troubles brewing so be careful you hear we got it from a well-known reputable car dealership and they were literally cleaning it when we asked about it so the seats were still wet nice dude i'm excited for you though i have no idea what ford focuses go for and like terms for for financing can vary widely but i'm paying more than that for mine so i mean <laughs> there's that my car's only two years newer but and my insurance isn't included did, is it like a package deal? Did you somehow get like financing and insurance all in one? Is that a thing that people do? I don't know. I really like my insurance provider. So like I probably wouldn't have changed anyways unless they gave me a really good freaking deal. But the whole reason I'm with who I'm with now is because my insurance was at least when I was paying non full coverage. Right when I was just paying like state minimum coverage, it was a lot cheaper, like half the cheapest prices I was able to find from anybody else. It's just, it's one of those ones where you have to like have a monitor in your car and they make sure that you drive safely in order to uh, get the thingy, but yeah. When 50 from Progressive and 203 from Credit Union for financing. Okay, 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 okay. Like 203 a month doesn't seem bad to me. I'm not sure though, because I have no idea what focuses go for these days or anything bork at him bork at him yes <laughs> bork at the bird stupid bird oh he's got a broken wing though i feel bad for him um i would highly suggest looking into progressive has like one of those monitoring programs that might be able to lower your rate 
And then if you uh, if it's available where you live, root car insurance is what I use. Um, it's like a they only insure people that good that get and maintain good results on the the tracking app that they have for while you're in the car. So their prices tend to be lower, at least in my experience. Everybody would vary, I suppose, but for me, granted, I had been driving for a handful of years by the time I signed up for them. I'm also a little bit older than you. Um, for state minimum, though, I was paying, I don't remember, it was stupid low price. I want to say, like, a couple hundred dollars every six months, I think it was. So it ended up being, like, $30 a month or something like that after taxes and everything. Um... All you need is liability? Wait, even when you're um, financing a car? It's like, I had to get, well, I guess liability is like what they consider full coverage or whatever, right? Where I live? Probably. But anyways, <laughs> now that I'm like financing a car, my rates have jacked right the hell up. I'm now paying like four, five, five hundred every six months. Oh wait, no, I canceled my six month plan because I wasn't able to afford it last time <laughs> I was due. So I'm now paying like $110 a month or something like that for my car insurance for uh, full coverage. But again, I'm older than you and been driving longer so my rates would be lower in general. I've never been in an accident. So my rates would be lower than yours anyways, but full coverage for a finance car, but after liability is the min requirement otherwise okay 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 yeah 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 i i forget like what the terms for minimum are where i live but i know it's not much <laughs> like you're at 95 a month yeah 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 it, when i was on the the six months like i said it was a little it was right around five something when i was on the six months plan um but when i left that it was like 110 and when I was on monthly, it was around 20, 30 bucks. It was super cheap, but whatever. Tough job of swabbing the deck. That's your job, kid. Use triangle to wipe anything that's dirty. This is what dirt smells like. I've never smelled dirt in my life. Please help. What does dirt smell like, friends? Can anybody explain dirt to me, please? Oh my lord. Seriously though, how old are we if we don't even know like what dirt smells like? Is dirt dude? Oh look at him climbing up the steps though. Isn't that cute? Also help that you put most of your savings down as payment. Yes. Yeah, that's a huge thing. I didn't have money saved for a car whenever I uh, got mine. So that that hurt my payment a lot but I didn't plan really on buying a car when I bought mine right it was kind of a last moment decision because my old car had a had a major gas leak in it it started as a minor one and it got really bad so eventually I was like okay look I'm spending like at minimum $40 a week on gas you know kind of thing right now and that's just with me driving like 10-15 miles a day on average, you know, like not driving that much at all. So like I need to get some, or well, like I was gonna get it fixed. But then the dudes told me that it was gonna cost like up to a thousand dollars to have a shop do it. It would have been significantly cheaper if I did it myself, but I'm not comfortable doing like vital parts of cars. I wouldn't mind like doing a gas line repair because that's what actually needed done but it's bundled with the brake lines and oftentimes when you're pulling a gas line the brake lines will also be corroded so then they might get a hole in them and i refuse to touch brakes like <laughs> i just mm -mm, nope i'm not going anywhere near them other than changing the brake pads i don't want to touch them because that's the one thing i don't want to go out of my car if i lose power to the engine man that's fine you know i can still stop the car and everything will be okay. I'll just be stranded a little bit somewhere. But if the brakes go out, bro, that's not a fun time. <laughs> like, I'd really rather not have that happen. So, uh, yeah, whenever he told me it was going to be like a, up to $1,000 to get it repaired, 
I was like, screw it. It's not that bad of a leak. Then it got much worse. So I was like, okay, I kind of have to get something now. And uh, I always wanted an electric car, so I found something electric. But I, I wish I did have a down payment for it. I also wish that I had better financing options. Because my original financing offer was like significantly cheaper. We're talking like 25% cheaper than what I ended up with. But the state that I live in doesn't accept financing from the company I was with. Um, or wait, the place I bought the car from didn't accept financing in the state I'm in. If I lived in the next state over, they would have accepted the financing from the company that I was with. But because of the state I was in, they wouldn't accept it. Um, and they didn't tell me that until I had already like ordered the car. They had pulled it off the lot and everything and was getting ready to like get it for me. Um, have it shipped because they had to have it shipped down the car that I wanted. It wasn't like available locally. Anyways, point is, so then like the whole thing had to be put on hold and I didn't want to deal with trying to get financing through another third party. So I just went through their in-house and needless to say, their in-house kind of sucked, but whatever it's too late already did it and it's fine boo boo indeed fishing i like fishing in games i want to know like before before today ends i want to know what these hearts do hi bernard you don't seem to have a fishing rod i'll lend you mine then <laughs> wend where i can't speak lend huh Tell you how to fish. Listen carefully. You think you're lending. I'm stealing this fishing rod. It's mine now. Fish on the planks by the ocean and by the lakes. Press triangle to quit. Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits, love. Press X when a fish is biting on the line to reel it in. The distance of the fish will be displayed by a bar on the screen. Okay. I already forget everything. <laughs> Don't reel in big fish too quickly because it might break the line. Stop reeling in to ease the line off. Too loose and they'll get away. Okay. Ready? Okay. Fish. Oh, you like have to keep tapping X. Okay. So we just want to keep it like in the middle here, more or less. Wait, we don't even have like a fishing pole. They lied to us. This is just some string. <laughs> got a sea bass. What's, what is it in the Animal Crossing, love? We got a sea bass. They say something. What's the pun? It's terrible, I'm sure, but I cannot remember it for the life of me. Waters are filled with Pacific Sori and Sea Bass. Why don't you catch one of both and bring them to me? We need them for a dish I'm preparing. There's a deck in the back. Go to it. I don't know, man. I don't remember. Wait, where's this deck in the back? Move out of the way, Bernard. Oh. Wait, is this not where we were fishing just a moment ago? I thought maybe we were going to fish off, like, the, the front. I don't know what it's called. Eesh. Come on, dude. Bite the line. Bro, what are you doing? Thank you. It's like, caught a sea bass? No, wait. It's at least a C plus. Oh. I caught a C... B, 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 the ass? I caught a B ass! <laughs> no, wait, it's at least a C plus. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Wait, what fish did we just catch? Is it what we needed? I wasn't paying any attention. I'm very sorry. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I wonder, like, if it touches the red at all, do we lose? I'm assuming if it touches the bright red, like the very edges, then the fish just gets away. Maybe it's just like a warning or something if we, we get it in the, the light red. Another sea bass. Can we... I guess after this one I can check. Maybe we already caught one, the Pacific Sori? Oh, this one seems smaller. The bar is a lot smaller. It's also a lot more jumpy. Very jumpy fish. Hey, there you are. Okay. Well, we definitely got both now, so. Back we go. You got your fish, dude. There you go. Now make me food. I'm hungry. 
Now that's a fine story. And this is a tasty sea bass. He's just eating it in front of us. You thought I was making food with this? No, 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 no. This is my food. <laughs> Go catch yourself some fish, kid. You want to be a real ship dog? You'll keep doing what I tell you. You can't carry around all this extra crap. <laughs> Whatever. AI question of the day. You're offered a chance to be a beta tester for a new VR game based on a legendary fantasy sci-fi universe. Which one do you pick and why? So basically, like, what universe that doesn't already have a, a game of would you want there to be a game of? Um, I mean, like, obviously some, some fantasy sci-fi universes do have games, like, say, uh... Game of Thrones, you know, just as an example, but like they don't have, I'm, I'm imagining like either, since they mentioned VR, I'm imagining either like life sim style thing, you know, you're just transported to the world and living your life or doing whatever. I'm imagining either something like that or like MMO, you know, like really large kind of get to explore this, this universe sort of deal, something along them lines, maybe. It's kind of what I imagine the question is leaning towards, at least. Sci-fi, we need more good sci-fi. Problem is, like, I watch so little sci-fi. I don't watch that much fantasy, even, to be honest with you. Like, classic fantasy, I guess. I watch everything's fantasy. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> insert porn joke here. Uh, just, I don't know, man. The Doctor Who's like the only sci-fi that ever comes to mind. And like while exploring with the Doctor would be fun, I can see the universe where the entire game is just based on Earth. So like it would just be like it would just be like Second Life, you know? Like it would be Mark Zuckerberg's met metaverse, and that's not what we need at all. So mm, I don't know, man. Wanna work as a sailor on my ship full time? No, no, I don't. Screw you. Just get me to the island. What other sci-fi universes are there? I mean, there's Star Trek and uh, Star Wars. Star Wars has, like, a lot of pretty good games already. Um, so maybe a Star Trek one would be kind of interesting as far as sci-fi goes. I'm more of a fantasy nerd than a sci-fi nerd, though. Outside of, like, Doctor Who. Not the best show, but I think the universe would be fun. Outlaw Star? I don't think I know that. I don't... Yeah, I'm trying to place it. I don't think I know what Outlaw Star is. Is it, is it like an anime or something? I'm trying to watch a little bit more anime. Trying. <laughs> it's hard. I'm like pulling myself away from YouTube for the little bit of smell. A little bit of smell. <laughs> I was reading. I'm sorry. For <laughs> the little bit of time that I have to watch stuff. Um, but I, I have been staying caught up with solo leveling because I was reading the books, although I'm a little bit behind on them. Um, so I, I am caught up with that and I'm trying to get caught back up on My Hero Academia. That's kind of like my focus right now. And then after that, it's probably going to be Dr. Stone. And then I don't know. I haven't actually decided what I want to start watching after, after Dr. Stone. Where is this dirt? There it is. Space salvagers slash bounty hunters? That does sound fun. So is it kind of like... What was that one that was really... Oh. Bruh, I'm blanking so hard. Cowboy beep <laughs> Uh, I don't know, that's just where my head went. Um, Code <laughs> I've never watched that one either. Is that like, is that what you're telling me to watch next? I guess that would make sense. There's a lot of like really good anime that I do need to watch eventually and just haven't got around to. I also need to uh, watch the one that Nate suggested forever ago still, Tokyo Revengers. I'm pretty sure that one's available on Crunchyroll now, which is good for me because uh, Crunchyroll is like the only subscription service I still use. I've kind of gotten tired of all the other subscription services. Noodle still use them, so I do still technically have like access to them. I'm just kind of done with them myself, you know? It's 
just cable with more steps now, man. Like, I feel like in another 10 years, piracy is just going to reign supreme again. I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying anybody do it. But the whole reason piracy gets so big is because, you know, <laughs> like when you're paying $15 for 16 different subscription services, like you might as well just pay for cable. And if you're not going to pay for cable, then that only really leaves you two options, DVDs <clears throat> and piracy. So <laughs> like, yeah. And with everybody trying to kill off physical media, I don't see us going the way of DVDs and Blu-rays again. So, like, piracy's the only option left, man. I don't know. I don't know. Chocobo is. I, I don't condone Chocobo. <laughs> That's, there we go. We'll just, we'll just put that out there. I don't condone him. More wolves! I still don't understand, like the wolf thing. We haven't had a chance to even see a shop yet. I thought we would get to explore around the town a little bit more before we got sent off on an adventure. I guess maybe whenever we shipwreck on this island that we're about to be shipwrecked on, maybe there will be some shops there or something. I don't know. See, personally, I am a big fan of the, the DVD Blu-ray scene, but not for anime. And I'll tell you why. Like, for movies and things, real big fan of it, you know? A big movie I want comes out, at release, it's like 20, 25 bucks for the, the Blu-ray or 4K copy. Around there, 20 to 30 dollars. Not that bad, whenever there's only a couple of movies a year that I care about, you know? Or, alternatively, what I can do, is, and what I normally do, is I just wait five years, <laughs> and then I get it for like 10 bucks. And you know, even better. But then anime, man, I don't know what it is, but, like, something feels wrong to me about paying, like, $30, $40 for one part of an anime. <laughs> one part. If it was the entire season, 30 bucks wouldn't be bad, you know? 20-ish episodes per season, 20-some minutes apiece. That seems reasonable to me. 30-ish dollars. But whenever it's like an anime that's going to be split into three or four parts and they want 30 bucks for each one, I'm like, bro, do I really want to spend $120 for these? Oh, sorry. <laughs> for this, this, this whatever anime that I want to watch? Like, it kills me, man. But I do buy a lot of DVDs and things. Um, and I do have some anime on DVD, but it's like older stuff and not very long stuff and whatnot. Like I have uh, Death Note and I guess Death Note and Dragon Ball are the only ones that I actually have. <laughs> Get wrecked, midget. Goodbye. Put the Code Geese trilogy or the <laughs> Genshin box set. <laughs> Bruh, I cannot. Ours, ours are a problem. No! How much are they, though? I'm, I'm legitimately curious now. I'm going to look it up. Well, we're dying. Ugh. I got to, like, rearrange my desk now that I'm sitting and not, like, leaning back. Oh, no, little bro! Uh, ba 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 Yeah, who is that though? Random person. On the Crunchyroll store, Code Geese, Amalia. Oh, okay, well that's a really fancy box set though. Bro. Can I show this? Is there any like personalized advertising on here that I can't show for some reason? No, this, this looks fine. Holy crap though. So it's a really nice box set, but that that price is ridiculous. Hold on. Let me switch this. I know you want to see what happens, Rue. We're going right back. I promise. I'm just... Look at this thing, though. Look at this thing. That is a hell of a box set, though. That looks amazing, man. <laughs> That's so cool. Comes with a mini chessboard. I... Is it a whole chessboard? Is it just showing the ones, like... I think it's just showing like one section of it. 
going off the fact that there's like four things there. Like the chessboard and all the pieces and the artwork and movies one through four and I'm guessing that's another movie or something there. I don't really know what that is. That's a really freaking cool box set though. But look at that. Oh yeah, it is a full chessboard. It comes with some like swag too. That's really sick. One to one replica of the Lancelot key. That's pretty cool. 64 gig, 64 whole gigs. Back in my day, we got 64 kilobytes and we were happy about it. <laughs> Anyways, a $60 discount code at the Crunchyroll store. But anyways, yeah, this is the, <laughs> oof. I, I couldn't, man. Even like my favorite things. I, I don't own that many collector's editions of stuff because I just can't drop that kind of money on stuff you know $550 I think the only like legitimate collector set that I have is the Stardew Valley collector set um for the Switch um I have like some special editions or whatever but like that's it but like that is buddy <laughs> that is some money right there but that is really sick that's a really cool box set what was the other one uh, I'm just gonna look up the price because I'm curious, but, uh, box set. I don't think that's the thing you were talking about, though, um, but still. I just searched for box set instead of trilogy, and that came up, and, like, that's really cool. Um, there's an Amazon link for... The complete TV series for $70. But depending how many episodes it is, $70 for the complete series doesn't seem bad. <clears throat> so I'm not sure exactly which one you were talking about, though, Choco. But anyways, Amalia, you're awake. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. You're on the dog island? Wait, what? I'm so confused. What? My name is Amalia, and you are? Midget introduced. Oh, did she, like, save us? Okay. We swam all the way through the storm? You're one lucky dog. Seabed in these parts has a lot of sharp rocks. Sharper than the teeth of a shark, they are. If you happen to hit one of those rocks, well, you wouldn't even be waking up right now. It was over 600? Holy crap. For what, the... The, the Rigatoni Kenshin? <laughs> I can't... I can't... I can't say it. Oh... Uh, Mr. Birdie told me that you've... <gasps> the bird saved us! That's so cute. Yeah, the Amazon link, I see it's only 70 bucks for the complete series, which doesn't seem too bad. But I have no idea if it's, like, the same one you were looking at or anything. Um, now, with that said, it seems like the new ones aren't actually available in stock. Yeah, it's only used ones actually in stock, though. So, like, that new price that it has it listed for of $88. I guess it was the used price that I see for $69.99. Well, anyways, the new price is listed as $87.95, but, like, yeah. Good luck actually finding one, it seems like. You'd probably have to go to eBay or something. Tell me, what's so important? That would make you try to reach this island in such a storm. My bro, though, he's dying. Come all the way to see Dr. Bowden. He has a clinic in the village square. You can get there by crossing the stream to the west of the house. He has a sign out in front so you can't miss it. I'll be there waiting for you, okay? Why not just walk us there? If you're... But... My brain hurts. Just cross the bridge. Follow me. Okay, I guess she was trying to walk us there, and we were just like, nah, screw you, bro. Or she didn't even try to use the roads. It's kind of rude. She just went straight through the flowers and everything. No regard at all for public spaces. Rude. <laughs> like, bro, what are you doing? Leslie, hello. A lot of dogs that live in this village. Why don't you say hi to them? It might be fun. Mm. Is it, though? <gasps> Cow! I don't care about Wilbur. Go away. I want cow. Can I bark at it? Oh, shit. I'm, I'm digging. <laughs> I don't remember how to bark. Ha! <laughs> Take that, cow. 
<laughs> what you get for living in a dog world. The cow's super cute, though. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this cow. I like it. Don't they usually put the... Oh, wait, yeah, you have horns. You're not a milk cow. You're gonna be eaten. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, dude. You're here for slaughter. Oh, my bad. Well, we'll just pretend we didn't see that. Let's move on, shall we? You look fancy, don't you, Andrea? Malshiki? Furniture dealer? Wait, do we actually get to like make our own house at some point? Hold on. I gotta go in that furniture dealer, because now I'm curious. Do we buy furniture? Hello, Mary Teresa. Only sell the best. <laughs> okay, well, apparently you don't sell anything. Well, all right, maybe we have to like unlock a house first or something for, for that to be a thing. I, d I didn't read the manual. I did briefly look at the back of the box, but the back of the box doesn't say anything about like being able to build a house or do anything cool like that. I want to build a house, man. Let me, let me house. Let me do house stuff. Hi, Malshigi. <laughs> you need a complete makeover. You are what you wear, you know. Wait, do you just sell fashion? Uh, I would like to buy. Oh, gross. Wait, do they have stats? They do not have stats. Lame. I mean... I'm a big fan of bow ties. Branch? What's the branch? Oh, just in our mouth? No, I'm good. Uh, I mean, maybe we should keep our money. I guess I don't actually know. I imagine we don't need the money, right? Like... If we needed the money, surely it wouldn't let us, like, spend it all. I am tempted to buy glasses. We got a little ribbon on her, though. Do they have a pink one? They do. Pink log. Oh, the the thingy. The, the, the lily decorations. That was cute, too. I'm not a big fan of the feather hat. Um, I really wish we could, like, turn her. I want to see, like, I like the the style of the, the ribbon on the side. I was hoping for that, but in pink. Do the lilies? Okay. We have enough wolves. We'll do lily. Lily cute, too. Oh, we already... Okay. I thought there was going to have to be, like, another accepting thing or something. But no. No, we're not doing the branch. Um, new products? We have a great system for creating new merchandise. It's easy to use and make use of. You see, you bring the materials and we'll make a new product for you. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> we bring you all the stuff to make it, you make it, and then you sell it to us at a discount. I guess that makes sense, actually. At first, I was going to be, like, really hard on them for that. But then, like, you know, in my brain, it triggered that, well, they are doing the work still. <laughs> so... <laughs> Like, that's fine. Ah, uh, we can rotate from here. Okay. Still sucks we can't rotate whenever we're... looking at the items, though. Level Sniff Apprentice. Our next level do 11 cents. Oh my god. Okay. Scores? Letters to... No, okay. We're leaving this. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just digging up your your home here. Wait, is there stuff in people's homes that we can steal, too? Where is it? Where is it? I'm stealing it. It's mine now. This is my glass stone thing. Beautiful stone. Get wrecked. I realized we could steal stuff from people's houses. I would have been doing that all along. It's one of my favorite things to do in video games. Steal things from helpless denizens. Okay, where are we going anyways? Uh, okay, apparently there's a sign outside. Restaurant? I mean, when's the last time we had a meal? 
You know, I'm sure it's fine. There were some flowers outside his house. Is this it? <gasps> Wait, I have my own house? Already? Is this just where we got woken up? Or where we woke up from? I don't know. Whatever. Just... <laughs> And before this whole thing's a fever dream and we're just dead right now. I'm joking. I'm sure we're fine. The noble's house. Bring down the nobility? What? Ooh. Blue flowers. Han's house? I just know there were blue flowers. The victory gang hideout? Tell me where the loser gang hideout is. I'm interested in that one. Are you homeless? Glad to see you looking well. Oh, well, okay. Never mind. I guess I don't care about you. Okay. Cross the bridge. There we go. We got it. I almost had to open up the map, man. Hello, Potan. Come fix my brother. Do we need... Is this America? Do we need insurance? Let's, I got a wolf. A single wolf. I can woof for you, if that's what you need. The doctor. Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely disgraceful. <laughs> oh my god, no. Good pun. Good pun. Midget desperately needs your help, Doctor. Whatever might that be? I explained everything from the beginning of time till now. Me, a famous doctor? Please, I just love to help. Uh, however, I'm getting Mr. Satan flashbacks, dude. Oh, no. Okay, he straight up said it's too much for him. Never mind. Not like Mr. Satan at all. Sorry, but to find a cure, I'll need to do some research. Find out what kind of medicine to use. Need a few days. Okay, and what do I do in the meantime? Hmm, I'm sure when we go out here, somebody will tell us. Probably that Emil Amelia lady, she'll tell us what to do, no worries. We got this. Forgot about going live on YouTube today. Oh well, <laughs> not that big of a deal, <laughs> who cares? You'll be here for a while, right? Then you'll need a place to stay. And I got an idea. Noble has an empty house he isn't using. Let's go talk to him. Is it the house labeled my house? <laughs> Crazy idea, I know. But, like, there's this place that literally has my name on it already. Could I just live there? Do we really need to go through the Noble for that? Is that a dog for a rug? It's like a dog for a rug, dude. A little morbid. Just a little bit. Who is this pup with you? Mobile, this is Midget. Midget, this is Noble. My position is of no importance. You're not from these parts, are you, young one? Nope, it comes from Pororo Town. The big city, really? Pretty sure this place is bigger than where I came from. I thought I detected a fragile hint of masked elegance emanating from you. Something absent from so many around here. Oh my god. <laughs> what brings you to your to our cozy island? Uh, I need Dr. Potan to do stuff. So can you just give him a house? Should ask you something first, okay? Ask away, do I believe in ghosts? No. Why is it haunted? It happens to be the site of some rather strange occurrences. Does have dogs have heard voices from thin air or sounds of something moving in an empty room. Of course, I don't believe in any of it, but some dogs in the village think the place is haunted. Pete, some even go as far as to suggest that my family get rid of it, but I cannot afford to allow such rumors to carry on. They could damage the good name of my family for generations to come. If you can find out the real reason for this haunting, you can have the house. Is it a mouse or something? Maybe a bird? What's over here? Is this like another sec? Oh, never mind. Guess I'm not allowed over there. Please do not enter that room. Okay, very sorry. Maybe you should put a door on it then. I'm just saying, you don't want someone going somewhere, that's usually a good first step. Maybe a sign even that says, stay the hell out? Not a bad idea either. All right, back to my house. 
No, that's Jeremy's house. <laughs> I don't remember where my house was. Nice house, dude. Thanks, man. If only were that easy in real life, you know? Just <laughs> shipwreck on a random island. And they're like, here's a house for you. Just figure out who's haunting it, and it's yours. Not that I think there's a ghost in here or anything, but I just remembered that I really need to fuck off, okay? <laughs> Goodbye! Got a strange new smell. Is it smoke? Is the house on fire? What are you? What the hell? The little picture for like the smell? I thought that was just because like it was an unidentified thing. This is like a 2D soot sprite or something? What is this? Like it's legitimately 2D. Like that's just canon. This thing is a, 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 a sprite, <laughs> literally. Bro, why is it just pacing back and forth? Do we not? Are we sure we're alive right now? This doesn't seem real. This is certainly some court of, some court of, some sort of messed up fever dream. Potassi? Hey, hi. Are you a flea? Don't tell me you can see me. What? You can really see me? <laughs> me? I'm Potassi. Okay. You're one of those sniff masters I heard about, right? No. I'm a sniff apprentice. <laughs> a hidden ank? It's not a trick that any old dog can pull off. Are you looking at me like that? Don't you know onks? Anks? Ants? <laughs> How would I know about them? Is this something everybody should know about? Ah, oh, sad day. Sad day indeed. Ghosts are just made up. There's no such thing. But we anks have been around for as long as you don't care to remember. At least as long as dogs have been around. It's just that you dogs have forgotten about us. Dogs don't accept our existence anymore. A little too complex for you, maybe? Just remember this. Ghosts and onks are two different things. Why are you here anyways? This is my house! Get out! <laughs> no, you seem helpful. Maybe you can stay. Really going through some tough times. Okay, then. I'll help you out. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Bro, this could, like, straight up be a demon or something. Uh... He could be, like, possessing us. He kind of looks like a shadow. He might just, like, take over our body. Control it. Bro, nobody's talking to you. Why'd my speaker go off? I like and love... Wait. No. I mean, yeah. No, I love and hate the Google speakers, man. Get wrecked, cow. Like, they just go off randomly sometimes. And at least mine. Mine are very old. But they constantly, like, just disconnect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're not allowed to go over there. I'm just... I didn't know if we were allowed to go over there now. So I was just curious. Can't blame you, right? Can I steal anything from your house? Can I go in this room? Peter's room. PETA! <laughs> Wait, no. We don't want PETA here. There could be some dog-on-dog -dog violence happening. I don't know. Hello, Peter. Oh, you seem shy. Uh, you, you look so cute today. Wait. No, Malia's not here anywhere. Okay, so he's like very nervous. Hi, I'm Peter. Nerville's my dad. Where is Amalia? Nowhere around here, you weirdo. Oh, hello. I hope some of princely paws elegance rubs off on you. Princely paws? Wait, is Noble a prince? Who's princely? What is this? Oh, I can't look at the look. Never mind. <laughs> Only bark, no look. You solved the problem? I don't believe in ghosts, of course, but it wasn't a ghost, was it? Nope, no ghost. It was an onk! <laughs> now the princess can visit us safely. Oh. You may use the house and you can use the furniture there too. Rest on a bed to restore your life energy. Good to know. Still can't get over the fact that he thought it was a ghost. This is just crazy. Hey, Midget, let's get out of here. Okay. Are we going to bed? Because. Gotta tell you, IRL me. Bed sounds really good. I'm so tired. 
<laughs> I just want to sleep for the next month, man. It is kind of cute, Rue. I agree. I do like the little sprite, dude. Whatever something I need to do. Help me find a bare patch of ground around here, will you? It's got to be a pretty big open area. The center of this village has a place like that. Okay. Oh, can we just walk across the stream? We can. You want to hibernate? Yes. Bro, I wish humans had, like, the option to hibernate. I would gladly go the next few months just laying half as half asleep, laying half dead in my bed. Here, it looks good. Don't just stand there. Lend me a hand, will ya? I don't know what's going on. What's your name? Potassi. An Onk tree. It's very rare. Brought it all the way from Onk land myself. I was asked to plant it in this world by the queen herself. Luckily, I remembered. <laughs> this game so <laughs> It's a game. I... That's all I'm gonna say. I can see it growing already. I guess it will be a sprout for a while, though. Wink. Uh, my queen told me this tree's no ordinary one. Each time someone says thank you to its owner, it takes that appreciation and uses it as energy to grow. Same. <laughs> that was a penis joke, by the way. <laughs> Why do I... Why? Why? Why do you guys listen to me? <laughs> He's slacking off. We should give him a little shove. Who are we... Who are we shoving? Potan. The doctor. That's who we're shoving. Okay. So what's this tree do? Can I bark at it? I'm a dog. That's what I like to do. I bark at things. Hold on. Can we go sleep? I'm assuming we only have three hearts right now, right? my house yeah like I see those other little circles there I'm assuming they're just like dead though treasure box very special number of items you can carry are limited so you can leave all your crap here treasure box are magical does that magical as in like they can just hold as much as you want we're making new products okay so sure, just put this crap in here. I don't care about any of that. We'll keep our accessory, because why not? Lobro has one. Oh no. <laughs> half of one, man. It's the Zelda system, you know? You gotta get to your half first. <laughs> Maybe even a quarter. Depending which game we're talking about here. Now I wanna bark at my brother. <laughs> Seems like he gets worse with excitement. I'm not saying we should murder our brother. I'm just saying I like to watch things get scared. Uh, you think we met before in Pearl Town? Oh, you're thinking of my twin brother. He does look exactly like me. So tell me, do you know about deliveries? Deliveries allow you to send packages or receive letters. If a letter has come for you or if you wish to send something, select mail and then choose send or receive. Any old postman will do the job. Just let us know if you want to make a delivery. Does this have like online connectivity? Can you actually like send stuff to your friends or something? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. An old post can perform a save for you. Uh, no, let's check the mail. Receive. Hey, sister. How is everything from... Wait, did they just, like, magically find us? How did they know... Where to send the letters to? Dear Midget, how is everything? We're all doing fine here. Are you eating well? Don't forget to eat vegetables. I actually haven't eaten a single thing since I left, Ma. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm dying. Send help. Oh, no, wait. There's a cow in the center of town. I can eat it. No problem. I take it back, Ma. We're good. Dear Midget, how are you? Without you here, the house is too quiet. I miss you. Mom says she misses you too. Be careful not to catch a cold. Thanks, bro. So happy to have gotten that letter from you. I want to know what score is. Soccer, race, and sled. Okay, so there's like mini games or something that we can play at some point. That makes sense. Ain't no game complete without some mini games. It's the town center. Damn it. I want that thing to grow. I want to know what a... Onk tree is. 
Midget, I was just getting ready, but I still need a few herbs. I'm gonna need them to help your brother, but you need to learn how to sniff them if you want to find them. It's the only way, after all. It's a special skill that I'm embarrassed to say I don't know how to do. <laughs> I never learned how sniffers work, so whatever's wrong with your brother, hope it has nothing to do with his nose, but... <laughs> Thankfully, I have some samples here you can smell. God, dude. Oh, are you a bad dog? Hope you're another sniffer, aren't you? I mean, you're doing the thing, you know? I was waiting for him to just take a piss on his door, I'm not gonna lie. Get started by finding a master to train you in the basics of sniffing. I already know how to sniff, dude. I sniff all the time. I sniff dirt. I sniff shells, glass, weird looking stones, invisible sprites. What do I need a master for? I've got this figured out already. I just want to know what the combat system is. That's the one thing I actually want to know here. But I don't think we're going to find out. Can we just leave? Piggies! Hello. Orc. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. They're cute too. Honestly, the cows and pigs are cuter than the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, the whole point of the game is the dogs. But I think it's like the, the really big heads and small bodies that isn't doing it for me with the dogs. But like, the pigs, the pigs just look so stupid. <gasps> There's some more chicks to bark at. Let me bark at them. E. Lou, you wish to learn the art of sniffing, huh? Okay, so he's a good guy. I can read you like a book. I'm also really good at eavesdropping on people. Like... Your name is Midget, and mm, you met po Potan just now in the village? God. So this dude's a con man. Need someone to train you? You're lucky that you're... that I'm here. They call me the Great Stiffmeister. Sniffmeister. Before I begin, I'm gonna teach you how to survive in this island. You must listen carefully. About the enemy, let me fight. Oh, is a bear. Bro, why is this dude just bringing a bear over here? Bear, for an example, looks dangerous. Yes, when you see dangerous creatures, stay away from them. Oh, this is important. When you're attacked by those dangerous creatures, ah! Your life at the top right of the screen lowers. When the game is over, all of your items will be lost, so be careful. Let's be careful with your life. Rue, you can't be mad at me. That was literally tutorial. I had no, I had no choice. The levels, no? You wish to know about levels? No, I don't. <laughs> Find the ring fragment one, which I have hidden in this stage. It smells like this. Okay. So the whole game, yeah, it's more or less the same as the other one. The whole game is just avoid dangerous things. There doesn't seem to actually be any like fighting. Just avoid dangerous stuff and sniff a lot. Do I care about the random things? Is it actually anything useful? I mean, we got food. You legit just lost your Wi-Fi? That sucks. Did it come back or are you like on your phone now? I need to set my backup Wi-Fi back up. Green vegetable with leaves that form a cluster? Okay, well, I can't seem to do anything with it, so whatever. I do have like backup internet service should my internet ever go down. It's supposed to automatically switch over, but I haven't had it hooked up in a little while now. Gotta go? Okay. Have a good night, Rue. Thank you for coming and hanging out, man. I do appreciate you. Is that a needle? Or no, you're a snake. Fork. 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 Okay. You can't bork at the, <laughs> at the... Whatever. The snakes. I couldn't remember what they're called. What are you? <gasps> a sheep! Haha, <laughs> take that sheep. God. Why do you got... Oh, can we scare the ladybug? Oh, no. I wanna... 
Can I play with the ladybug? What happens if I like... Can I dig the ladybug? No. You can't do anything with the ladybug. Lame. Okay, well now that we lost a little bit of health, can we use the cabbage for anything? No. I was hoping like those were healing items or something, but... No. Kind of looks more like a hedgehog, not so much a sheep. I'm pretty sure it's a sheep. Because it's been all like farm animals so far, you know? Like cows, pigs. Sheep would just be the next, like, I don't know, obvious step. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to face dangerous creatures. The enemy said, oh, we can fight them. Shows what condition they're in. A great sniffer like me can read their minds, so I'm gonna teach you how to make out their thoughts from those icons. This icon obviously shows it's gonna eat you. Oh. It's awake but does not see you. Now you're safe from those creatures in the icon. Display this, they will not attack. But once they make an angry face and start to growl, it might attack if you approach it, so you should try to stay away. Next, how to bark. It's simple. You bark. Sneak up on them and let that X button rip, my guy. So it just confuses them for a second. Oh, they'll faint. The longer you hold, the louder it is. Wait. Oh, okay. It didn't. I was holding, but I guess I was holding too early. Bark will be louder and the creature will stay fainted longer, but you'll need to be close, so approach as close as you can without them seeing you. Uh, bring me ring, ring, ring fragment for from a snake. Use bark on the snake and it'll drop it. Here's the smell. That's the entire combat system, isn't it? Just barking at things. That's how I too deal with all of my problems in life. I just bark at him. <laughs> Something goes wrong, you bark. If somebody's being a dick, you just bark. You having a really bad day, my guy? Bark it out. Get wrecked. Bring fragment four. Where? Have, what happened to two and three? Why are we doing this out of order? Can I go fish? I really. <laughs> I don't care about what we're doing now. I just want to fish. Bruh, this game is not going on the list. You guys already got pets too on the list. This is the same game. Like, we really don't need both on there. Let's be real. Hello, doggy dudes. Can I fish? What are you doing? Oh, okay. I thought he was like doing something. No, he's fine. He's just chilling. Oh, we can do the doggy. Can we just swim back home? I was hoping we could fish from here. Oh, there's a pier. We can probably fish from the pier. What are those flowers? Flowers. Thought they were another, like, helpless creature that we could scare half to death. That's what I was most excited for. Honestly, though, like I said with Pets Dogs 2, it's not actually a bad game. I just don't see it as a game that's really, like... It's not made to hold the attention of adults, you know? It's made for children. Quite obviously. Because, <laughs> like, if I was a little kid and I was playing this, I think I wouldn't mind it, you know? Even as an adult, I don't hate it or anything. It's just... There's not enough to it for me to care. <laughs> the, the funnest thing about the game so far is just collecting fish. Which, I mean, okay. That's basically all you do in something like Animal Crossing, you know? Or not, yeah, yeah, in Animal Crossing. Fish and bugs. Can I catch bugs? Was that a thing? I feel like that was a thing in the other one, right? Maybe that'll turn into a thing here too. This is it. Well done. For a moment there, I thought I lost for good. Thanks to that snake. Wait. <laughs> um. <laughs> feel like maybe we're doing this for you and not to help me do the sniffing thing. My question is, is he actually like a master sniffer? <laughs> or <laughs> did he make that up too? Maybe he is a master sniffer, but he's also just, like, very cowardly. Ha! Got him. 
I want to know, like, what's on the other side. Can we cross, or is the bridge, like, down or something? Do the creatures change based on the time of day? It doesn't really look like it, huh? Oh, we can fish here. There's a little tiny pier. Let me fish. I'm going to eat you guys. Sorry, not sorry. Is it just me, or is the, like... You're gonna die bar bigger in the pond here. Maybe they're meant to be harder to catch fish. A yellow scale fish. Let's go. I did not mean to fish again. I'm very sorry. <laughs> you guys get to watch me gently mash X over and over again. If anything ever bites the hook. Is there a chance nothing will? I mean, there was definitely fish in the pond. Oh, there we go. Music's a bop, though. Let's go. A catfish! Hell yeah. I used to fish for catfish when I was younger. And eat them. My sister's uncle. And I used to go out and hunt for cat, hunt for catfish, fish for catfish. And then he would take them and scale them and fry them up and... Mm. I love catfish. I like, I like seafood in general, though, to be fair. I like food in general, actually. Like, I'm just not a very picky person. Look at you. Scare him. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> Run away. I'm sorry. I thought I was sneaking up on you. <laughs> you don't have to be mean to me. I'm just a puppy. Treely Woods. How far can I go? <gasps> Bork! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. All the little woodland creatures are my favorite part of the game. I just want to yell at all of them. I want to know where the duck is. I hear a duck quacking, but I don't know if it's something like actually in the game. Or if it's just a sound effect that's playing in the background. This little loading stutter there. Although, <laughs> to be fair, I can't say much about a little loading stutter every once in a while after playing The Sims 2 Castaway on the PS2. Loading screens in that game, man. Terrible. How are you gonna, like, press start and have to watch a loading screen? <laughs> How is that a thing, man? I don't get it. I don't get The Sims in general. It seems like every Sims game is so poorly optimized, bro. It's just wild to me. I, mean, I guess we'll see once some actual competitors for The Sims come out. Like, Paralyzed, I think, is coming out next year, I think, is the, the release date for it, which is, from the ones I've seen, the most Sims-like, Sims-like game, you know? So we'll see, like, how well they're able to keep up with their promises of, like, open, seamless worlds and no DLC, no paid DLC and all of that BS. Because if they're able to, like, actually do all that, then yeah, man. Ha-ha! <laughs> Sorry. I think... I think we're running out of helpless creatures to scare. <gasps> Is a bug! Maybe we can catch bugs, then. Because we've seen, like, a ladybug and the butterfly... here. I do think catching bugs was a thing in the other one, so... That's probably a feature of the game. Select do anything? No. Oh, we can walk. Okay, that'd probably come in handy whenever we're searching for bugs or whatever. No? I'll be barking at the hole, like something would pop out of it or whatever. Sneak. Okay, so we can't go that way. So we're pretty much at our limit of exploring, it would seem. Oh wait, no, I guess we didn't go this way, did we? Is there anything interesting over here? We could continue the story, but I'll be honest, I just don't care enough to do that right now. Are you a dog? What are you? Yeah, you're a dog. So you're just blocking me from going over there. Another little ladybug. <gasps> are you a witch's hut? Goliath? Who's Goliath? You're just a dude. 
Life is gonna eat and then work hard, he is. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> good for you, I guess. I was hoping for something a little more interesting from random dude in the woods named Goliath, but I suppose not. <gasps> ah! No, you're fine. Here, take a life herb. Although I am kind of curious what happens when we die. Hold on, I want to see what's over there before I die, though. So inventory, item, medicinal herb. I guess I didn't try the fish. Maybe we can eat fish. Maybe we just can't eat cabbage. <laughs> They're like noodle, you know? Super picky eaters, that's all. Get wrecked, bird. I can't even see you because you're all the way up there, but... Get wrecked anyways. Obaba? Oh, this has got to be like... Never mind. I was going to say like a fortune teller or something. <laughs> You have medicinal herbs! Sir, do you have a permit to be growing those herbs? I think I'm gonna need to check out your credentials. Okay, yeah. I don't think there's anything else to really explore. Where's that gorilla at? Here, murder me. <laughs> I wanna know what happens before I quit. Can I bark back? <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh no! Oh, okay, literally just game over screen. Retry? Does retry just like respawn us at the start of the level or do we wake up in our house? Oh no, okay, so there's like checkpoints whenever we load into a zone or whatever. That's fair. That's a better retry system than a lot of games have, so I'll take it. Anyways, guys, a little bit shorter of a stream tonight since I was so freaking late, but I mean, we were playing the dog island. <laughs> We definitely played worse games. I'm willing to say that. Tomorrow, at some point, we'll be playing a little bit of Dark Cloud, getting started on that journey. It's probably going to be a bit of a longer one. What is it? I think Dark Cloud 1's like 30-some hours or something. It's not super long. Dark Cloud, how long to beat? I know the second one is longer. The first one, yeah, average is like 36 and a half, so gonna be playing that for a little bit and just to appease my own curiosity the artist collection Is anything gonna come up no what if we search for dog island the dog island 17 hours no way <laughs> yeah no i'm good on that that's so much longer than pets dogs too pets dogs who isn't that one like six or something? Enter. Pets, dogs, two. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Big note from me, dog. Anyways, until then, have a good night, y'all. Thanks for coming out, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye. Bro. Why does Bo keep hiding from me? Let's go. Get wrecked, Bo. Our morale is skyrocketing. That's what we want to see, man. Oh. Oh, we got another gate open. Noise. Now, if their, like, morale drops low enough, don't they, like, start to run or something? I don't know what these, like, bodyguards or dying messages are about. Oh, we can, like, hold circle to keep that going longer. Very cool. Okay. I need defense. That's nice. That's not what I was hoping for, though. What I really want is some health or health ups or anything along those lines. Permanent health, grades, health upgrades, if that's a thing, would be actually very handy. Oh, that's full health? All right, I don't think we need to worry about these, like, onesie twosie people. But if there's another... Yeah, gate captain. See all these people running through here? If we don't deal with them, we would just be fighting these dudes forever. So they'll just keep coming. At least that's how I understand it. Whereas if we kill that dude... 
then now it's our gate. So now he can't have anybody come through here anymore. Unless they, like, take the gate back somehow, which I'm sure is possible to do. But it's got to be harder to, like, take a gate back than to just hold it, I would imagine. See, the big difference between, like, this and Drakengard... Drakengard has a better story. This runs so much better <laughs> than Drakengard does. <laughs> <laughs> 